Hello friends. Let's open a playlist for the Creality Ender 5S1 3D printer, which I bought not so long ago. Now I will tell you what problems may arise after purchasing a 3D printer and how to solve them. And so let's go. The first and most important thing you will encounter is setting up the retract. Let's figure out what a retract is. Retract is when the plastic goes down during printing. The retract does the following. It raises the plastic rod so that the plastic stops flowing out of the nozzle. Therefore, if your retract is not configured correctly or is disabled altogether, the print quality will be simply disgusting. The model will have growths and hair appear between the elements of the model. What am I trying to tell you? Let me show you. But first I want to say that I am currently working with three plastics and studying them. PLA, PETG and ABS. Each of them has its own advantages and disadvantages. I will tell you about this in another video. And today we will talk about the most important thing. This is how to set up a retract. Let's move on to the printed towers that I printed not long ago. And sir, friends, we see these test towers. So what are hairs or strings? Let's look at the first white plastic. This is PLA plastic. Each level is numbered. From the first to the fifth level. And as you may have noticed on the bottom layer, the printing is completely disgusting. On the first layer, the retract is completely disabled. As you can see on the first layer there is a lot of hair and plastic strings. This is how your 3D printer will print if you don't turn on the retract on the printer at all. This plastic is very difficult to remove and as a result, even after removal, residues remain and this spoils the overall picture of the printed model. This tower is just testing your retract. After you configure the rollback value, you next need to adjust the rollback speed. The second tower regulates the ideal speed of plastic rollback from the nozzle. We have now looked at white plastic. Black plastic is PETG plastic. And as you can see, the printing differs from plastic, although the printing characteristics are set to the same. As you can see, the plastic has strings on top. But the PETG has none. Each plastic has its own properties and therefore each plastic must be tested separately. What's good for one plastic doesn't mean it's good for another. On the second tower I also adjusted the rollback speed. If you don't learn how to test and adjust the retract, you can completely ruin the printed figure or design. You'll just throw away the plastic and waste a lot of time. And sir, friends, I have already configured the PLA plastic and added the settings to my slicer. I also set up and saved the PETG plastic. All I have to do is test for ABS plastic. I buy plastic from the same company that makes the CREALITY printer. But you can try other companies. In the future I also plan to try plastic from other companies. But for now I take all the plastics from CREALITY. And sir, friends, now we see the characteristics of the plastic on the label. CR ABS. Recommended printing temperature is from 220 to 260 degrees. By the way, these plastic hairs also depend on the printing temperature. The higher the temperature, the more of them there are. Therefore, I will now choose the golden mean and set it to 240 degrees and we will test this plastic for retraction. Let's take it out and see what it looks like. The temperature characteristics are also indicated on the coil. I have already tried printing with this plastic, but have not yet adjusted the retract. I tried to make a different retract setup using a different tower, but I still think that the system with small towers is much better, and who needs a lot less plastic. 
setup is much faster and much easier, at least for me. Well, let's change the plastic in the printer to the abs we need. Well, now friends, let's move to the computer and I'll show you what settings you need to set. Where to get this tower in the chicken slicer? Let's go. I have Cura, 5.6.0. And first you need to choose which plastic to configure. I have already made templates for myself with plastic settings. All I have to do is configure the abs. You will only have four settings which are on top. Choose the 0.2 mm quality standard. In the Kura program, on the left side you need to select your printer, in my case it is Creality Ender 5S1. Using the Add Printer button, select yours from the list of printers. Next, choose the material you will print with. I don't know which one you will test, but I will test abs plastic, so I choose abs from the list of materials. You also need to choose what diameter of the nozzle you have. Mine is 0.4 mm. They usually print 0.2 mm. This is the golden mean. Less is possible, more is possible. The smaller the layer, the better the print detail, but the printing time also increases. Now you need to add a tower to the printer. How to do this? You need to click on the store button, then in the line you need to enter the following phrase. Calibration shapes. Click on the install button, I already have it installed. After installation, exit this window. Then you need to go to the extensions tab. Next, in the last tab. Select add retract tower and now we have this tower. Now we need to make sure that each square is printed with different retract settings. On the right in the table there is such a parameter in the movement tab there is the rollback value, that is, how much the plastic will roll back and also at what speed it will roll back. These two parameters are very important. First of all, we always adjust the rollback value. Let me now switch to my abs plastic and finish the setup. You, like me, can add the created settings to your favorites by clicking on the star and the save button on the right in the window. After saving the settings, you can quickly change the parameters depending on what type of plastic you will print with. I adjust the print parameters by 0.2 millimeters. The rollback value is quite large. And the rollback speed is also too high in my opinion. Let's move on to some theory. Namely, what is an extruder? The extruder is the head from which the plastic heats up and flows out. There are two types of extruder. Direct and Bowden. My particular printer has a direct extruder installed. Direct means that the plastic is fed directly into the nozzle where the plastic melts and comes out already molten. And Bowden is when the feed mechanism is located far from the heating element. And he delivers the plastic through a special tube. In direct, the rollback speed is almost instantaneous. In Bowden, the rollback takes much longer because it is quite far away. In general, the Rattract can be adjusted from 0.5 mm to 8 mm. In direct settings, the settings range from 0.5 mm to 3 mm. Bowden ranges from 3 mm to 8 mm. In my case, direct is installed. So we will adjust the direct from 0.5 to 3 mm and try to adjust this tower. And so let's go. After we added the tower, here, by the way, we need to add a check mark on the right. And so after we downloaded the tower and placed it on the virtual table, we need to go to the extensions tab, then post processing and click edit G code. Next we see a table like this. Now you need to add a script, 
you won't have it when you first start it, so let me show you where it is and how to install it. After choosing the retract tower in the first tab, change it to distance. This is the rollback value if you look at the settings on the right. Let's set the starting position to zero. What does this mean? This means that the first layer of the tower will be printed without a retract at all. In the third tab we change the retract increasing step with each layer. I'll set it to 0.5 mm. It turns out that the tower with number 1 will print without a retract, then number 2 will print with a retract of 0.5 mm, then number 3 will print with a retract of 1 mm, and so on. The total setting will show us a parameter from 0 to 2 mm. Then 38 is the number of layers. I counted and there are 38 layers of plastic in each cube. Each cube contains 38 layers. That is, every 38 layers the retract parameter will change by 0.5 mm. Where we have the number 5, this is how many layers need to be skipped from the beginning of printing before the retract moves to its original position. Namely, the retract starts working at speed 0. We leave everything as is. Next, click the cut into layers button. I have support in my settings, but now I'm turning it off. I'll leave the border, because Abs Plastic likes to mold in the corners. We'll talk about this disadvantage of Abs Plastic in other videos. It's a pretty finicky plastic, it needs to be printed in a closed box and it stinks. After cutting into layers, we can then see how long it will take to print this tower. As you can see, 40 minutes. Let me try to increase the typing speed and see how much the time changes. I will increase the speed by 70. Now, as you can see, the time will take 38 minutes instead of 40 minutes. I'll probably leave it like that. Click Save to Memory Card. You can also specify the name of the file, let me call it 888. Next, click the save button. We received a notification that the file was successfully saved. And now we move to the 3D printer. It seems that I was mistaken that the table only heats up to 100 degrees. In fact, the maximum table temperature is 110 degrees. Now I have printed our tower and set the temperatures. I'll probably just set the heating of the plastic to 240 degrees. I corrected the parameters. As soon as all temperatures reach the specified parameters, printing will begin. Close the printer door and observe how printing occurs. My printer will print abs in a closed plexiglass box like this. I separately purchased a cover and side walls for the printer and have already installed them. I will leave links to additional parts under the video, you can purchase them, I took them on the AliExpress website. The printer is now smearing the first layer and printing will begin. Friends, let's wait until the end of the press and see what he will do for us. Let's check which layer we got the best. I'll probably choose the third layer. The third layer will give us a rollback of 1 mm. The best print, in my opinion, came out on the third layer. Now in the slicer we need to set the retraction to 1 mm and then we will test the rollback speed. And sir, friends, we also have a speed controlled tower printed. Let's evaluate and select the layer we need, which is printed as gracefully as possible. Printing ends and begins on the back layer. So we carefully look at this place. It's better to look for a reflection of the light. The first layer was printed at a rollback speed of 10 and as you can see there are some irregularities. 
At the second level there is also bad printing, but less so, the second level was printed with a rollback speed of 15. On the third layer, printing occurs almost perfectly, this is 20. And perhaps I think I'll stop at a rollback speed of 25, this is our fourth layer. We set the rollback speed in the slicer to 25 and save the profile and now the print should be good and without hair and strings. So I finished setting up the retract and now I can print in good quality. In this way, you can defeat emerging hairs or so-called strings and you will no longer have such problems. Well friends, I hope the video was useful, subscribe and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. For those who want to support the channel and help financially with plastic, the donation link is under the video. Also follow the link in Telegram, where you can discuss various problems and solve them together quickly. See you soon friends and good luck setting up your retract.